Okay, history of Thirlmere water. It was actually two lakes, but from 1863 to 1876, proposals came in from the London politicians of the day who wanted to convert the two Thirlmere lakes into a reservoir. A report by the Royal Commission on Water was produced in 1869, which showed the cost of conveying 200 million gallons per day of water to London via a 96 mile long aqueduct would run to around 10 million plus. So that got knocked. However, However, the Manchester and Liverpool politicians picked up on this idea, but they were to include horse water with Alls water, as these three lakes were the only lakes with sufficient altitude to allow water to freely flow to Manchester and Liverpool via an aqueduct. So for divers, please note the word altitude. buds well and all other water users apparently I've just been told this road has been closed for two years so it shows you how long it's been since I've been down here so what do you think yeah this is all because they're doing uh, waterworks uh, at the reservoir so Okay, you'll find I'm full of surprises. Is this the end of the road, folks? Thankfully, I know where the back door is to this site. So let's see how far that gets us. But first, I'm going to take you on a wee jog onto the dam and its car park. Hello, and welcome to the show. This is Webmaster Paul for Freshwater Diver One. It's not far, so please sit tight while I do all the running. Okay, history of Thirlmere water. However, after many years of opposition to the plan, in particular from local poet John Ruskin, whose many words found a place in the papers of the day. Uh, one particular one that made me laugh was uh, as to these Manchester robbers, there is no profit in the continuance of their lives, he said. So yeah, sometimes it pays to have a dig in the newspapers, the, the very old ones. Uh, these days it's all microfish, so a bit difficult on the eyes, but I've done all that guys. And I may bring some of that onto the uh, YouTube channel in the future. I've researched this issue of the waterworks for you and ever since the dam was erected a tiny problem plagued the water they now believe they have the cure i can't say any more folks sorry however despite good old john having a really good dig week in week out he was having a go at them well it was after two years of hot weather and drought and this was in the years 1888 and 1889 the Manchester papers were putting in it was a water famine they were having um, great difficulty getting water but in any event work on the aqueducts and tu tunnels started in 1889 and by 1895 water was running into Manchester using a 40 inch diameter pipe in 1915 two further pipes had been built for the growing Manchester population, factories, etc. And the dam itself, which was built up in stages, was now at its final build height. And it goes on to say that the Lake Ullswater is used to back up supplies for other reservoirs in the Lake District, including Horswater and Thilmia. But some of the equipment at the Ullswater pumping station is getting very old and needs to be replaced.
This is Webmaster Paul from Freshwater Diver One on YouTube. Thank you for your likes, subscribes and shares. Those are very much appreciated. You're welcome to leave your comments below. We love reading them. Thank you. We'll be uploading videos every Friday. See you next Friday.